deleting any reflection that you have because we don't have anything to update but we want to hear your expectations your feelings um, and anything that you want to share with us so anyone you can raise your the hand or you can also just type a name um, if you want also you can nominate someone else it's like you can say a name in the chat from whom that we will hear. Okay, not not there. Okay, Go hi on. everybody. Hey. Okay, uh, I'm excited to be a part of this uh, batch for training program uh, and I have been looking to it, so I'm excited. I think I'm ready for the upcoming challenges and lessons and I hope it will be a smooth ride. Uh, I'm wishing all the best for everybody, especially me. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Nathanael. So anyone else? How are they feeling? Do they feel ready, just, you know, uh, easy, or are they any other feelings that you would like to share? Yeah, Kate? Hi, um, I'm really excited. Go on, Kate. Yeah. Go on, Kate. To be part of this program. Hello. Hello, hello, Kate. Yeah, hello. Go on. We can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm saying I'm really excited to be part of the program. Um, I feel like after going through week zero, I have an idea of how um the following weeks will be. And yeah, congratulations to everyone who's made it this far, and hopefully we'll finish together by the end of the program. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Mikhail or Michael? Yeah, um, it's it's also a great feeling to be part of um, the selected few. Uh, I think um, what I'm expecting actually is uh, just being able to get job ready and then have a lot of exciting projects to get my hands on. Uh, and congratulations to everyone too. Great, thanks. Desmond? Well, good morning, everyone. I, if I got your question very well, I think you are asking- what You are slightly, the mic is slightly faint. Could you, it, it's just clear, but faint. Can you increase it? Maybe cl get closer to the mic. Okay, I don't know if you can get me clearly now. Sure, I think we can hear. Okay, go on. Okay, thank you. Uh, if I got your question right, you're asking what we expect from the 12 weeks. And uh, basically, uh, I expect to have a step-by-step -step learning on how to handle machine learning projects. And um, I must say that uh, it's a, a, a pleasure being part of this team. And I expect to learn more from the team and also from the class. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a good one. So if you have also a question, the things that you want to know, something that you would like it to be cleared, you can also type it just, or you can also ask it. Um, yeah, but what, what was kind of your expectation, your, you know, where you are, your feeling is at the moment also, you just share it so that everyone feels like it's, it's sometimes good, like to know that everyone is feeling, you know, similar. Um, or if there is any different feeling, we also just know that. So, and if you have any question, things that you would like to know right now, like or you would like to, you know, get some update from us, um, some things that that are not clear. So, in this case, for example, what kind of challenge, whatever, I will mention. I will talk a little bit, but let it come from you. Just things that you would like to know um, to get updates when you start this journey. Anyone who wants to tell us 
what they are feeling, their preparedness, their their readiness, and their expectation. Okay, Elizabeth. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, congratulations for making it this far. Um, I'm excited to be part of this program, and I'm looking forward to learning and growing and just being part of a network that spreads across Africa. Um, I also have a question. Um, is it possible to get the program outlook uh, just week by week so that you know if what we're dealing with in week one, day one, day two, just so that we can better prepare for the learning that will be happening? And yeah, I think that's what is important. Okay. Thank you. Great. Barakat, I, I saw you had also your uh, your hand raised. Do you want to? Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, can you hear me properly? Yes, we do. Yeah, uh, I'm really excited to be part of this program. And I'm grateful for this chance. And I want to say congratulations for my fellow uh, students and <laughs> trainees. And the thing is that, like, uh, one of the things joke. I was... <clears throat> Bearcat, we need a joke. <laughs> Please. I'm not good at joke. It doesn't matter. Please, <laughs> we need a joke. Because whoever says student... Uh, uh, trainees. <laughs> trainees, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, prepare for tomorrow, maybe. So, yeah. tomorrow you will start with a joke. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, Go on, yeah. uh, one of the things that I, w I was going to ask was uh, Elizabeth's question, uh, uh, how we are going to proceed like week by week and we can prepare early. And uh, I'm not going to lie, but I'm a little bit scared. Like, mm, am I going to uh, be able to do it? Like, uh, if, it were, if it's like uh, week zero and uh, doing it for 12 weeks, you may have a doubt, but uh, I have seen uh, a lot of things in week zero that uh, I can do better, and everyone in here have uh, potential to do that thing. So I believe in that. And uh, one thing is I need is the clear picture. Like uh, you, you, ha you have something like you know how things are we're going in week zero, but I want to know the clear picture how we are going to week by week, and details of the things that we need to do, like uh, the layout, so like. In week one, what we are going, to, what we are supposed to do, like that. If it's clear, that will be good. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Daniel. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Welcome back, everyone. I'm really grateful and thankful to join this uh, program as a batch for uh, training. I've been preparing the whole year, and I've been expecting. 10 Academy Passport program to start. So I'm really delighted. Uh, what I want to ask is uh, or recommend is that is, is that possible to give uh, the resource, the weekly resource uh, prior to each day? So like, for example, the resource, the, if, if it's possible to provide the resources for the next, for uh, Tuesday prior to Tuesday or like that if I if you get my question and uh, that's all I thanks yeah anyone else okay uh, Jakinda uh, hi everyone uh, hey. first of all congratulations for making it thus far and uh, for me basically I want to prepare or I'm a level of preparedness. Um, I'm currently at that point of what, what is coming next and uh, will I be able to hack what comes next? Uh, I, 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 I have the hunger, but also there's that level of will I make it? So the fear is a little bit there. It's like you're in the deep end and then, you know, you have to start figuring everything out. So level of preparedness, yeah, I'm ready to flap my legs and my hands and figure everything out and then I survive as far as possible. So I think that uh, everything is going to be okay if we just stick together and uh, we can figure everything out, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, great. Thanks. Anyone else wants to add? Boris? Hi, everyone. Hey. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Has everyone tried to to join the rocket chat? For me, I'm seeing it's down. I don't know why. Um, anyone who can think for me it's working. So okay. that means you can have to try again. Okay. Yeah. Just um, try it, and then otherwise just reach out. Um, Thank you. To the technical team. Okay. Okay. Anyone else want to go next? Anything that's not covered? Things that you want to know that's, that other trainees haven't traced so far? Do it, yeah. Do it, you can Hello. unmute, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you, yeah. Yeah, I'm Elias. Uh, I'm facing difficulties in my laptop recording audio, so I'm connecting with my sister's phone. Uh, I would like to say congratulations to everyone for making to the final selection. Uh, I have a question. Can we have like topics that are going to cover in 12 weeks, the main topics, we, so we can prepare ahead of time? My question. Yeah, okay, so good, thanks. Anyone else? If not, then I will just give you some updates, like based on also some of the questions. I think that repeatedly it's this overall and what's next. And I, I understand. I think it's I, for the week, you definitely will have a program, what is happening each day. Um, and I think if it's not already there, then it will be there, like within the next couple of hours. Um, <clears throat> in terms of like the weeks, like how they are structured, we might change them, that's why, but there is a general structure we have, right? So we have four focuses uh, and we have each week, we're going to focus on a few things uh, while, of course, it's every week is end to end. That means like you do a data science project, you know, which incorporates multiple components. Very similar to week zero, but week zero was just a, quite a rush. Uh, compared to this, this one you would just focus on one data and you try to get a value like or a result that that can be valuable, that, that you have to actually digest also the consequences, what it means, the kind of the interpretations and think about end to end. So some of them would be in groups um, and importantly, just to give you an idea, the next five six weeks you're going to be a lot more working on diverse each week will be diverse so this week as if you have seen it it's telecommunication and then there will be like banking there will be insurance there will be um some kind of twitter again and then you will have uh, around seven week or so so that that's we have to arrange and there will be also a couple of new challenges that we will, we will have from industry uh, that we don't know which week they come because they're still being prepared. So we may not give you that overall, but I would say it's going to be very similar and you're going to know it. You're going to feel the rhythm. It's going to be very similar rhythm. And around week seven, you, we will ask you to go out. So to go and compete in the real world. That means in Kaggle and Zindi. And it's about measuring your own kind of where you are with respect to the world, right? how much um, you kind of learned and how much you have adapted. And then there will be uh, around week 12, there will be 
two weeks of one project uh, that comes from industry. So that's that's a kind of structure. And I would say don't focus like a lot more about what comes next in a way like you will know it. But I would say it is just going to be very similar that they, it will have a very similar uh, structure. As I say, there will be four focuses that are looping. So there is a community related, work related, job related, which is continuous. It's like we want you to be job ready. And that means you will be always reminded what it means in a job, including this stand up is part of that, an update, right? So you will just be able to, we will ask you like, okay, you know, what are the three things? The three things you'll update is like, what did you do? Uh, what are you now? Like, what are you doing? And, uh, or what you plan to do, as well as what challenges you faced, kind of. So this is the kind of the usual rhythm and it's a working and it's kind of an agile framework. So you can think of if you want to read, it's like this is Scrum um, standups. So you can read more even on how efficiently you can update your work and how you can receive kind of help uh, in such connections. This is in every office or in every technical teams, there is this scenario, right? So it's, it's gonna be a lot more mirroring, mirroring um, actual job performance. And the focus areas, the four focus areas would be automations um, and kind of a lot more in that pipelines and automations because as a machine learning engineer, you need to be able to deploy, you need to be able to set up, be part of a system or set up a system. So that means uh, it requires that, that, that element. And then there will be um, data engineering and ETL. It's a lot more of transformation uh, data transformation and kind of re reading and thinking about where you store the data uh, in which form that you're going to store um, and all that. And then there will be ex data exploration and visualization, including dashboards. So you're going to be a lot more thinking in that area like, okay, there is a data that it needs to be uh, kind of merged. It needs to be cl cleaned. It needs to be kind of uh, validated. It, it needs to be visualized. It needs extra, you kind of prepare the data also for modeling. And then the fourth component is modeling and deployment, where you actually start thinking about, you know, algorithms um, and types of uh, ways that you model a data and you kind of evaluate and deploy, right? So these are the focus areas, the general focus areas. Each, each of them, each of the week's project will have these components but we probably will make it more focused on one of them. For example, this week, it's a lot more data exploration and visualization. So all of even the grading and everything reflects and the tasks reflect that element that we will be focusing. We will just for you to develop your techniques on how you visualize, you kind of uh, explore data it's like in, in different ways, transform it, um, pivot it, and kind of get understanding that it's distribution, it's sampling, so the statistics component of it. But it's a lot more playing with the data in a very productive way, right? And then you will try to visualize, you will think about, you know, how you're gonna show what you have seen. So in your exploration in the code, it's fine, it's easy. If you want to plot histogram, you do histogram. If you want to do line plot, you do line plot. If you want to do some kind of other transformations, you transform. If you want to filter, you filter. But, but then sometimes, and then you reduce that, and then you have to show the other people as well to have a very similar capability on a reduced, cleaned, and whatever data. So that's basically why we will ask you also to build a dashboard. So that is where you kind of main focus. But at the same time, we will ask you to think about your coding, how you code it, uh, such that you think of the future in a, in a sense that next week you should be able to use some of your code that you wrote today, right? So in how you package your code, um, how you dockerize and you kind of make it a system in its own, how your dashboard kind of decouples from, from this thing such that it can be reusable, extendable. So even if we, we say that they are, these are components end to end, but a lot of the tasks involved um, are almost like more than 
involve around actually analyzing and understanding and being good at uh, the different techniques, the pandas technique um, and other, uh, the psychic way of like kind of quantifying something, okay? And we'll, we'll give you just this summary, what is coming as, as much as we know. So the next three weeks, we'll definitely update you this week, what it looks like. But I would say more focus, a lot more on kind of like, okay, there is gonna be an end to end. And the only thing that's changing is just the type of data and the kind of type of, um, like basically just the data that's changing in the problem definition. But the rest is gonna be the same. And the focus for uh, a week after will be, or next week will be on automation. And then a week after could be modeling, but it's really going to be very similar. Even if we say it's like on modeling, you will still do data exploration, you will still do automation uh, and all that. Hopefully that gives you this clarity on how we approach this training. It is a lot more focused, but end to end. So we give you more tasks on a certain component such that you kind of have more chance uh, to appreciate that element. But at the end, what we want is just that you will have kind of, you will go through each of them step by step and you'll be job ready, okay? Hopefully that answers uh, some of the things that are raised, but if not, you can also just now ask. So th does that give you the kind of understanding you want to have? Or is there anything that uh, you would like me or anyone to uh, explain further? Anyone want to have um, another thing to be explained? Is, are you clear? Like that, that basically the question is that, so everything is clear that you would receive this challenge. And the very first thing I ask you to do is to really read the challenge. Everything that, that we want you is described there. It's the source that we will communicate. Okay, Deborah. Okay, hi guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, the things you mentioned about uh, good software practices, like uh, dockerizing, uh, you know, or packaging, or uh, the things we're gonna build, is it, are, you gonna, are you guys expect us to learn that by ourselves, or do we get sessions? There will be sessions. Um, for example, this week, there will be elective sessions, depending on, so depending on some of the, the focuses, there could be elective ones in a sense that it's not part of the main tutorial, but there would be like a tutorial on that um, for those who are interested. So we'll always try to get that kind of, uh, you know, getting starting on that new field, for example, or, or a new concept with a tutorial. So definitely there will be uh, something, there will be references as well as also tutorials that will cover uh, the session. Okay, so it's part of the program. It's part, part of, of the program, as you could see. It could also it is it is kind of in, it is mentioned in the challenge, but like as I said, the very focus would be this week. You guys to work a lot more on on exploration, and um, and kind of adopt a certain structure. So the, in the challenge, we give you an example of a Python folder and to whatever structure that you would you would put your code around. So in a sense, like you would add the data and that data, and, you know, like some structure. And then um, the dockerization will not be kind of asked as, as like you have to submit, but it's a bonus that if you do that, it will be, it will be marked. But next time, next week, it will be probably, you know, the core element in this automation uh, element. So the more you do it this week a little bit, then it helps you for, of course, the times to come um, to be good. So, okay, but you. the definitions are like the definitions, how we grade the different tasks are defined in the challenge. So you will see. Okay, thank you. So, so yes, uh, Kairat, like you will get the weekly schedule uh, should be out. Uh, either if it's not already out, it will be out. So the day-to-day, -day, I think the the kind of the requirements, the submissions are already in the challenge. So there will be two submissions. 
uh, one on Wednesday and one on Saturday, the final one on Saturday, where you have to submit. So two, twice a week you will submit, and that's defined the time and uh, how, when you are late, what happens. All that is defined there, so just you read that. Uh, and then the, the kind of the activities of the week are going to be in a calendar that you, you, will, you will receive. So the challenge is, um, I don't think it's been released. Ah, okay. So, so we will release it. Okay, great. So you will receive very soon, uh, just immediately after this call, maybe then you will receive. Great. Anything else? So I think we have one minute or two minutes. So if if anyone wants a room, yeah. So just uh, one sentence. So if you've made it this far, then you have everything you need to finish. Yeah, it's actually a very good point that I, I forgot. I think that yeah, that's a one aspect that uh, you should know that we believed we interviewed all of you and not only that we got data on you about your performance and you know your hunger to continue on both the submissions that the, your performance on week zero as well as also just our dialogue with you and definitely we believe that you will make it so the only the what is now between here and you being job ready we believe is just that hard work and the kind of commitment that you will have. As long as you do your part, which is you know, doing your best, giving it your best, I think there is you know, a very, very, very high likelihood that we'll all be just celebrating after 12 weeks in October, somewhere end of October, I think, that would be, we would all be just like laughing. And you would know all this kind of, if you are nervous, I think it's okay, I would have been nervous too. Um, but you know, it, and some things that you don't know, you will know. Like it's just you know a matter of the good thing about things that you don't know is that when you know them, you don't know that you didn't know that, and and so it's it's fine. You know, it's as long as you just give it your part, and if it's like if you are challenged, just you get to the community and you ask the community. Kind of be proactive. I think the the most important thing that I can tell you is that be proactive. Don't don't just sit and hope that it will go away. And these things are like, you could have, if with enough time, you could solve all of the problems. But it's also time bound, right? So that means the best way is to actually then reach out to other people, you know, uh, get, get in the community, assume the community is your, your real resource, like beyond, you could have done it yourself, but with the community, you could, have, you could do it much better in at, at high speed. And that's why we really believe in the community. And it's a major component. You will see it every week, 20% of your contribution towards um, job readiness comes from the community. Not because we want the community only just like, because we believe that work is about community. You know, it's about, in a no, it's very rare that you will be just left alone to do yourself and that uh, you will cover anything at work environment yourself. You would get, you would have to be, playing in a community, working in a community as a team. Um, and so as long as you do that part, you know, just it will be easier. And within a few weeks, you will get the hang of it, like this iteration of you know, the loop. It's just going to be a loop, and you predict it. It's predictable, um, and you know what needs to be done. And it gets like, it's not about like, sometimes there are two types or many types of people, but a lot more I can divide it into two, those people who really want to understand. And they really struggle at first. The reason is because there's not enough time to understand every detail. It's about, it's about you will understand it by just walking it many times, you know? It's like you will not probably get good in that just in that week. But it's just if it's dockerization, as long as you complete it, and next time it comes, you get the chance to improve it and to see, to understand. So it's only by looping it through you will understand more and more so sometimes, you know, you may struggle if you are those type of people who really want to understand in detail, 
this may have a different way of learning. That means it's just that you don't have time. You just have to do it and go and do it again. And then you will have a chance to, to kind of, aha, okay, that's the reason, you know, but you may not be able to understand everything as by the time you do it. So expect that. Um, but then because you will have many or more opportunities to repeat it, at least some of them three times, at least these focus areas, three times, three projects will be there to help you kind of do it again, right? So then that will give you an, an opportunity um, to learn it more, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of slightly different, but have a conversation with yourself like, okay, they told me that it, it is about completing the tasks as well. And if I, even if I don't understand now, I'll try to ask people, friends, whatever to understand it, but I'll go, I'll go on, I'll proceed, hoping that I will, next time I will learn it better, okay? So that kind of mentality um, will help. Yeah, so I think that I would say, if you do your part, I think there's no stopping. I don't see anything, anyone who's in this uh, here will be able to arrive um, to job readiness. And we don't have doubts on that. So. Can you everyone to turn their camera on for a moment? Let's we'll take a quick picture. Yeah, let's have a group picture. So if you could. Uh, so I see it's getting up, getting up. Let's get as many as we can. So we'll tell you when, when I take a picture. At least still, there are many people who are, whose videos are not on. Not going could, to get their hair this morning. So if you could just uh, for a moment, just so that uh, we get as many videos as possible, that would be great. You don't even have to smile. No, no pressure. Okay, probably this is gonna be this, the equilibrium that we'll get before people switching off. So I'm gonna take a picture. Now you can smile. Okay, smile. Okay, I, at least I took one. Do you wanna take one more? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, one second, please. All right. Great. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. So, anyone else has anything, or can we close it here? Cindy, do you have Cindy? Do you have any announcement or anyone? Okay, Zalalem. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what I want to say is, okay, okay. Uh, besides uh, asking questions in the group when having problems, I think taking a break in every one hour or two hours is very essential because uh, as I have seen in week zero, it has a, a very impact just doing for a long time continuously might wear us down. So I want to suggest this for everyone don't forget to take a break as we will have as we will it will clear our ideas what our problems are so i want to suggest that thank you thanks thanks a lot it's thank definitely you. helpful to go for a walk and uh, just yeah make sure that you are healthy Yes, uh, for me, what I would ask, uh, we remember it's a marathon and not a sprint, as Lema said, uh, take breaks when necessary. For us, we'll be here to support you, especially when it comes to the whole non-technical assignments that we'll be releasing the first one today and the next one tomorrow and holding tutorials on that. We will be available on Rocket Chat. You can always DM me personally on email. I am fully and completely available at your service and we'll be working with you at Tiana to make sure that uh, everyone feels supported. And I hope I also see the level of engagement we saw there at the time in our chit chat channel because it's really helpful to get to know each other. So um, I'm excited. Uh, 
about this and uh, I hope you enjoy week one and the rest of the 12 weeks ahead. Michael? Yeah, um, uh, what I, I, I want to know from the perspective of um, the uh, Ten Academy, how the um, week zero went and how it has been for you throughout. I think you've, we've, you've heard most from us, uh, a lot of stuff from us that it would be great if we, if we also hear how um, the impact it had on you, whether your expectations were met and all that. Good question. I will get to it. But Vincent? Vincent? Hello? Hello? Yes, I, I want to say I'm sorry I joined the meeting late because uh, I was uh, traveling. Uh, so I missed the first bit of the meeting. I, I don't know if uh, you would be in a position to share a summary of the same or rather a, a video recording of this meeting i think the recording will be in youtube so just like the ten academy youtube channel so you'll be able to okay. catch up with that yeah okay thank you so, so much. maybe Arun, do you want to start with your impression <laughs> it's a good question uh so we, we have a couple of, um, so we, we had a couple of assumptions of how things would go. I would say overall, yes, the expectations were exceeded significantly, um, but the way we got there was slightly different than expected. So a quote that I like is you have to be sticky on the vision, but flexible on the details. And I think week zero more or less met that. So we had, our goal was uh, that by the end of, by the, 1st of October 2021, we want uh, 50 people who are job ready and uh, that are very ready to be placed into work soon after that. And so we learned a lot um, as we went. Some of the expectations were exceeded, some of them were um, not met, and others were on point. So I think it was overall, it was very good. Lots of learnings came together. So it's, it's a very general statement. I, I recognize that. But what I can say is that expectations were exceeded in terms of level of engagement. Uh, people worked really hard. They got a lot done. There was really nice, um, there's a good strong sense of community and that came along much faster. Um, I'd say where expectations were not met, um, we, I think we underestimated some of the challenges around building, for example, keeping Rocket Chat up and running. And that was a learning for us. And I think that we, some of your colleagues who are not here today, um, they may have seen it and thought this is too hard and it's not for them. And so we had somehow assumed that people would be, would stay with us for a little bit longer. So some people um, abandoned earlier than we expected. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, fully uh, share with that. And definitely that's something that for next time that to give people a chance and maybe explain more that it's all about, it's not about you have to know and you have to understand. And I think most of you here sometimes might, might know it. It is about giving it your best. It isn't we, our, I think our goal for some people might not have been clear why it's such difficult like, uh, or hard. And the reason is of course we want, we know our task to prepare fresh graduate to machine learning engineer instrument is kind of especially global. So it's, it's, you know, we're not thinking in a, in a country level. We are thinking about like, you could be working anywhere in any part of the world. It could be Silicon Valley, it could be, um, you know, it's like Brazil or India or Africa. It's like, it doesn't need to be there. You have to get that standard. And, and so it isn't an easy job. So that's why sometimes we need to throw as much as we can to you and then try to figure out whether you're kind of, you will be put in all these types of situations and how you're going to cope with it. It isn't nowhere in the world that I know. It's all about, about you know, that solving it is just the only solution. It's about how you handle it, you know, how you, your approach and stuff. 
and uh, so as Arun said, really in, in most of it is like uh, our expectations were exceeded. I wish that we could have seen a lot more uh, engagement in terms of gender balance as well. Uh, that was where we also probably had to work hard in that area. But overall, I think that was very good. Um, and what it gave us like is that we have now more confidence that to say exactly what I said earlier, that you will be job ready if you do your part. So of course, still, you know, a lot of work needed, but I have that confidence um, that week zero gave me that confidence that, okay, you know, we are, we are in good stage. So that means we can have this verbal contract. You do your part, we do our part, and we will get there, um, all of us, in, in this level, and there will be uh, quite a success in placing most of you. Right, so that's that's the kind of like that confidence is really hard to come by unless you get into that situation of a hardship. So yeah, Mikhail, I, I hope that that answers you. Like this gave us that exact understanding, uh, learning um, about who we are dealing with, and and really propelled us, like kind of encouraged us more. So this is the right way to do it. Okay, so I hope I hope that that addresses your what you want to know, uh, Michael. So, with that, I think unless there is no question, we can uh, um, we can close it here, and then there will be the tutorial in one hour, right? Um, so we will we will see there, and until then, you will get the the challenge. So please, just in the next one hour, read it. I'm trying to understand, and if there is anything you're not, you don't understand, make sure you understand by the tutorial time. Um, it is where everything starts. If you don't understand anything within there, there is a problem. So make sure that everything is clear to you, what's expected from you is clear, um, and if not, just ask. Okay, so with that, uh, wish you good day and good week, everyone. So see you around in Rocket Chat.